You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 3. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So, um, at this time, here's part one of two segments that I'm going to do for this episode. And I'm going to start off with, you know, what's going on with me? How am I doing in my health and stuff like that? Um, well, I got to have to remind it a little bit, you know. I have to remind it a little bit. You know, it's during the peak of the pandemic, you know. Um, I was dealing with stroke, with stroke pains and stuff like that. And I got nervous to the point that I thought it was COVID. Thank God it wasn't. But during that mess, I ended up getting an anxiety attack that turned into a panic attack. And, you know, as weeks go on, everything went away. But then, still pain came back. And it went into congestion. It turned out to be post drip that led to acid reflex. And then... That's where that we left left off, and I told you I, when I talk about the pandemic episode and stuff like that. So here's um what's been going on now. Um, during the three couple of weeks, you know, I had to get an allergy test, you know, to see um if I had allergies. And it turns out I do have allergies. You know, I'm allergic to dust mites, pollen, and oddly enough, cats and dog. That I don't know how I'm allergic to cats and dog. Cause I had a, had a dog in the past, but I got this much to develop in the future. I just got an update on my doctor saying that um that these are not long term um, allergies, but it will get bad during the spring and the fall. But you know, I've been working on that and stuff like that. So um I've been good with that. Also, um, as for the acid reflex, you know. Um, I've been on and off, you know, cause I've been, you know, I've been on medication for it called a PPI, which, you know, I did a lot of research in it and it hurt it's not healthy. So I tried myself to get off of it and try to work on the natural thing. And, you know, working on natural went, went kind of wrong. Can I deal with something else where I got to go to Dr. Ford hopefully soon. But, um, but, um, so I kind of did a reboot. And now I'm doing the whole natural thing again. And so far, no reflect for this whole week. So this new thing I'm doing is, is working so far. And um, you know, and um, yeah. And um I didn't want y'all all to like continue to um pray for me, you know, keep me in my prayers so I could get full recovery. I didn't think about it not COVID, so I'm happy about that. But also I don't I don't I do wanna talk about one thing. I've been doing a lot of research, and a lot of people say you don't go can't do no research. You just go drive yourself crazy. Knowing me, I had to do research on what's been going on with me and stuff like that. So I, everybody probably wondering how did I get acid reflex in the first place? Well, at first I was trying to figure that out. Well, I thought it was allergies and stuff like that, but I think all this happened when I had my first anxiety attack back in March. Cause um, I did research and it said that. Um, anxiety is con- is connected to acid reflex, and I did a lot of research in it. And I was like, oh man, dang! So what I've been doing now is basically eating a lot more healthier. Cause everybody that know me know that I used to eat a lot of a lot of um, bad stuff, you know, a lot of fat and stuff like that. So I had to cut down on that. You know, alcohol is out the picture because I haven't been drinking since March, and I pay my alcohol free since then. So that's out the picture. But I everybody that know me. You know that I used to drink OD a lot, you know, Blue on Island every weekend, stuff like that. But what I did learn during this pandemic that, yo, you got to take care of yourself, yo. Whether you got COVID or not, take care of yourself. Don't wait until something happens to take care of yourself. Always be aware of your body because, you know, your body is important and um, stuff like that. And, um... And also, you know, um, dealing with anxiety had not been easy at all, you know. It's been scary, actually, you know. Because, you, like, you worry constantly. And everybody thinks it's only your head, but really not. 
know, I know in the past I dealt with a coworker who's my best friend to this day that had been dealing with anxiety and and at first I didn't I didn't think nothing of it until I see her, you know, actually had a panic attack right in front of my face, anxiety attack right in front of my face. And, you know, what I did was I calmed her down and stuff like that. And I did the best I could to be there for her. But, you know, knowing that and, and, and actually going going through it, honestly, I would not wish that on nobody because it's a terrible feeling. And, and, of course, I did have it in March. I have had an anxiety attack or, or a panic attack in a long time, but the anxiety still there. And it came back around the time my, my best friend sister passed away. And, um... And it just came out of nowhere. And ever since then, it just came out and came back. You know, body tested up again, getting chest pain. I haven't had shoulder the breast because of it. I haven't had a um, heart been racing that, every here and there, but not that much. But it's more, it's more of the muscle tensed up part. That the only real anxiety symptom that I had. I haven't really get shakes like that anymore. But I just want to say say this, that this pandemic really messed all of us up physically and emotionally. And what we have to do is just continue to pray and just be there for each other. Check on everybody, check on your, your family, your friends. Of course, um, stay healthy as well, you know, cover your face with the mask, or wash your hands, stuff like that. Just got to stay healthy. And everybody that's saying that this, this virus is a joke, it's a host. Nah, it's not, y'all. You got to be aware of everything and social distance and all that. So, um, like I said, um, everybody that's doing anxiety, we will be fine, you know. Just stay positive. Try to not think about it. Just just pray. Because, you know, God will make a way, you know. And what I've been doing is I've been doing more research on anxiety, stuff like that. I've been doing, reading more Bible verses on anxiety, and it's been working. And um, also, when your muscle turns up, I've been taking a lot of shower with hot water and warm water. And that's, that helped me a lot with tensing the anxiety. Of course, eat, eat healthy as well, because it's also um, a part of what you eat as well that helps cool the body to tense up. So you got to eat a lot more healthy stuff. Her bananas help a lot with anxiety. A lot, a lot of vegetable stuff, um, avocado, stuff like that. Just uh, water is definitely help with anxiety. So, um, and also stay off social media. Don't watch the news because that will just help make it even worse. And um, I just want to help you. Thank y'all for tuning in to the first part of the two-part segment. And we're going to take a little short break. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, y'all. We are back. So, um, here's the second part of the segment. Um, and what am I going to talk about? We're going to talk about the pandemic as a whole. And we're going to talk about the injustice in America. Basically, this is basically what I said in the beginning of the episode. This is, like a, this is America Part 2. So, um, let's start right with the pandemic. Um, yes, we are doing the pandemic. I don't know why everybody acting like we not, you know... Even though New York is on phase, we just got on phase three, you know, but still, we still got to be social distancing and wear masks like our hands to be safe, you know. We don't want to, we don't want to go back where we once was in March, where we had the highest case ever in the highest of, you know, in the United States, and now we got one of the lowest and we don't want to go back. We, we don't want to go back. But we should continue to go forward, you know. And, um, because, you know, I know for me, I try my best not to go out with um, large groups. You know, even though I've been out three times so far, I was good one for, you know, helping the community. And another one for, you know, my you know my bro, Sister Finneru. And another time when I was with a lady friend this past weekend. But you know, and I'm and I'm there, you know, I'm there out there, you know, with her and stuff like that. And I see a lot of people, you know, we we that Brooklyn Bridge Park, you know, forcing us back to where me and then the team get to call it. And um and for it was it was it was a pack, like okay, good, so we good. So it was a pack, you know, we all social distance and stuff like that. 
But as time went on, it started getting packed. And I was like, nah, we got to go. Because my anxiety started to act up. Her anxiety started to act up. So we like, you know what? Nah, we got to go. Because, yeah. And then people wasn't wearing masks and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, nah, we got to go. And um, stuff like that. And now we're hearing new news now that um, that apparently COVID is airborne now. Apparently more than six feet. I think it's I think close to nine to eight feet. So if you don't wear a mask and you're close to somebody with who got COVID, you are likely to catch it. And I'm like, oh, boy, this is too much. And um, stuff like that. You know, on top of that, 19 states right now is pretty much is we boot back on COVID, you know. And, and you know, if y'all leave the leave the uh, leave NYC to go to those states, y'all come back, y'all gotta stay quarantined for 14 days, y'all. Stay quarantined for 14 days. We gotta make sure we don't spread this again. Like and remind you everybody can say this is the second wave. No, it's not this is due to the first wave. This is through the first wave. The second wave will be most likely when all of it is going and it come back. And that's likely, apparently, by winter time, around flu season, is when the second wave is likely to happen. So, like I said, um, with sermon COVID and stuff like that, we just gotta be mindful, social distancing, wash our hands, wear a mask, stay healthy. If you're in high risk, stay home. If you're sick, stay home. Not just trying to get things back to the way it was, you know, even though we know that normal is not going to happen, you know, stuff like that, you know, um, phase four, I think in a couple of weeks in New York, um, as of now, we don't even know when malls is opening, um, movie theaters, gyms, night the clubs and stuff, we don't even know when those are opening back up, you might be going, we may be out of that for a long while, so, um, Let's just, let's just pray for the United States and let's just make sure we good. So the next thing I want to talk about is, you know, the injustice in America, the racism and stuff like that. And you, yeah, I know when I listen to y'all heard this is America episode. Um, this was a really hard topic to talk about. You know, I try my best to talk about it the best way that I can. And, um, you know... I just feel like we do need justice, you know, with the, with, with, you know, with the police, you know, killing, you know, the black community, you know, we need, we do need revolution, we do need people that have that, that, you know, we do, we do need to get the people who, who killed Breonna Taylor, you know, like, y'all need to go get, y'all need to arrest those people, like, for real. So they literally out there running free. I'm mad that nobody's doing that, doing nothing about that, you know? And, um, stuff like that. And then one thing that bothered me is, like, you know, we all, we all saying that, you know, Black Lives Matter when it comes to the cops, but what about Black Lives Matter when it comes to our own kind? Because I heard this whole weekend period, it's been a lot of shooting. it been one day I've seen where a guy got killed while walking with his daughter in the Bronx out of nowhere in, in plain daylight and another person too getting killed so I just feel like as a black community yeah, we gotta do better we gotta do better we gotta start killing each other before we talk about Black Lives Matter with the police we gotta start with us and saying Black Lives Matter we'll come to each other and stop the violence stop the gun violence we, we gotta stop it like for real because if we don't stop it, then we just go go back to where we was, and nothing gonna change. And the start with action, and we just gotta try, you know, try to do something. Like I said, instead of talk about the police killing us, we gotta talk about us killing us, you know. That's because because if that don't stop, then the police go feel like it's okay to, to do it, you know. So, um, we just gotta do better. And on top of it, we do got this project. Also, y'all, in November, please vote, y'all. Please vote. We cannot let Trump back into office. 
in this in November we have to vote, y'all. Like we don't care. I know everybody is saying, "Oh, voting ain't gonna do much." Yes, it would. Voting would do a lot if y'all vote for the right. I mean, you know, Joe Biden ain't no better, but I rather Joe Biden than Trump. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just me. So I feel like if y'all want real change or some some kind of change, I guess. They get this man out of office, y'all. Y'all already see how he handling COVID. Y'all already see how he handling the Black Lives Matter and the protests and stuff like that. You know, if that don't open your eyes on what you're doing, then then what well, what are we doing? Like, we can't be blinded by what's going on. We gotta we gotta step up and change what's going on. Like. We gotta step up and change it, y'all. Cause only we, only we could do it. Only way thing could change is if we do it. And if we don't do it, then then things not gonna change. So I feel like we have to change, y'all. We gotta change our mindset. Put the pride to the side and change. We gotta take, we gotta take, we gotta take what I was back. You know, not not only as a black community, but as a community as a whole. You know, and. We gotta get this man out of office, you know. But um I just wanna say thank y'all for tuning into the new episode and um and you know we be we'll be right back.